guys, you um, you guys all remember the 4x4 I was telling you about, the, eight, the 84 to, well it's a collage, 8084 we're working on here. And I said Mike had uh, well done, fabricated his own bumper for the customer. We got it all done, so let's take a look here. It's back from the powder coaters. So as you can see, the front bumper the customer brought us, and it's kind of got, it's not rounded or anything, it's kind of got that angle to it, you know what I'm saying? Like that. Customer wanted the rear bumper to be made out of a round tube, two and a half inch. And yes, this truck is almost done. Got the charger on it because it's been sitting for a while. Gonna fire this bad boy up and take it for a boot, but not today. It's the end of the day and that's it, I'm done. But we'll show you the bumper that Mike made. Look at that. See how he went with the same angle as the front, but made out of tubing like the customer asked. Isn't that beautiful? You either like it or you don't. The customer's gonna love it. Three good bolts holding it on. Slotted the pipe, slid these in, welded these all on, put support braces in here, capped the pipes on the end. Look at that, it's hard to see back here. I'm a little squished in, Chuck's right up against the bench. But there we go. That bumper's going nowhere. That's it. Got the tailgate on, the bumper on, got the steps on. Put a little raptor on the steps right here. So when he's stepping up there, it helps out. Uh, it's got to go for the interior. Like I said, it's got to go for the headliner, door panels, all that kind of good shit. But it does run. It runs. It runs good. It runs good. It stops good. All that kind of stuff. I don't know much about this engine or tranny because it just came to us like that, so I couldn't tell you nothing. Everything is working right now except for the horn. We just got to look into the horn. Everything is working. Oh, and the fuel gauge. The fuel gauge, uh, it, it's, it's not working, so we got to look into that too. Uh, the little truck here at the LS, we had the front end on and off. It's over now getting all the uh, body work done to the inner fenders, and then they're going to be painted this weekend. And then the front sheet metal goes on it Monday. It stays on it. Hook all the rad hoses up, everything like that. Um, what's left? We're waiting on a couple parts we ordered this week online, so they haven't th shown up, like a throttle cable and all that, and a linkage uh, for the tranny, because the linkage is different. We're waiting on that stuff before we can do anything. Got to bleed the brakes, that's about it. We did put new coil springs in it, new shocks. You can't tell right now, but it was really sagged out and sitting down low, so we did that. Chris got all that done. So that's Good, good, good. Now, if you remember, I had this trailer here. This friend of mine had a trailer. Anyway, cleaned it up, sanded it up, did what we had to do, and we added two feet on the end. So we added quickly, just bolted on, well, not bolted on, but welded on two feet. We got a pipe, bigger than what this pipe was, slid it over by a good six inches, welded all the way around, welded some angle iron across the back what we had laying around here scrap extended the wiring because now the light said to come out an extra two feet blasted it all raptored it out the door it goes i quickly wire wheeled the wheels for him just to be a nice guy and sprayed him in some trim clad spray bomb and away we go it's his to take now so that's what's going on there so he'll be excited to see that super excited now we've got sean is over here Oh, what a wet rainy day today just amazing but anyway Sean is over here and he's priming up the 67 Merc cab he's got all the bodywork roughed in on the cab and he's priming the cab and he's also been working on the inside of the boxer bodywork let's take a look there we go getting her all ready getting her all primed up quite stinky don't want to be around in there so that is what is going on on I don't know what day this video is going up but it's Thursday while I'm filming this so there we go sometimes these videos are 
put up the day they are and sometimes they're put up two days, three days, a week later. So it all depends. But anyway, got that done. I think in the last video you saw Big Red. She's sitting out here. Can't really do much to it in the pissing rain. But I had all the fenders on her. Got all the fenders and all the shit done. So all we're gonna do is next week, we're gonna prep the hood and get the hood painted. Then the hood goes on Big Red. Then I'm waiting on new front and rear bumpers. And uh, while I'm waiting on that, I'll clean up and paint the grill up really nice for that truck. And uh, I think that's it. I think she's a runner. She should be. Yeah, and there's the Model A hidden in the corner. There will be a video coming because if it's Thursday today, that means the Sunday's right around the corner and Sunday's my play day. So that's when I lock the gate. Well, the gate's always locked anyway, but the gate's locked. Garage doors are closed, music's turned right up, and I'm working on my Model A. And you can yell, you can scream, you can knock, you can even say, Rick, I got beer. And all I gotta say to you is one word, right there. Ain't interested, working on my car. Anyway, remember, it's always a damn good time at old time, and we'll see you next time.